This most recent violence does not come in a vacuum. The reality is that it grows out of a long-standing conflict with a 56-year-long occupation and no political end in sight. It's time to end this vicious circle of bloodshed, hatred and polarization. The UN Special Coordinator and I are engaging with leaders in the region to express our concern, our outrage and to advance efforts to avoid any spillover to the wider Middle East. Even in these worst of times, and perhaps especially in the most trying moments, it is vital to look to the long-term horizon and avoid irreversible action that would embolden extremists and doom any prospects for lasting peace. Only a negotiated peace that fulfills the legitimate national aspirations of Palestinians and Israelis, together with their security alike, the long-held vision of a two-state solution in line with United Nations resolutions, international law and previous agreements can bring long-term stability to the people of this land and the wider Middle East region. My colleagues are talking about very high levels of violence. There's very high death tolls on both sides. And mostly in a very short period, there are huge numbers of people who have sought refuge in UNRWA schools. This recent wave of violence and escalation is unprecedented. Only a peaceful resolution of the conflict will put an end to this very regular flare up of conflicts in the region. The High Commissioner is calling for an immediate stop to the violence and appealing to all sides and key countries in the region to de-escalate to avoid further bloodshed. Violence is not a viable path forward. It offers neither sustainable peace nor prosperity for any involved. 